Hey guys, this is Scott here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new series which I'll be starting on my channel, which hopes to teach newer players in the GTA Online frame community on how to start their path or develop their path on becoming a better player. In the first episode, I will be starting with pistols because I think that a lot of people tend to find them very difficult to use, which prevents people from using them in 1v1s. So, there are two major different aiming styles you can use when playing with pistols. These are left trigger or right trigger aiming. On screen, you're going to see two side by side matches. One where I play with right trigger aim, the other using left trigger aim. In both matches, you'll notice I use the simple display for aim. When using pistols, I find this is the easiest to use and you probably will too. On screen, you're going to see me playing against a random opponent using right trigger aim right now. Now in this video, notice how I simply move left and right as opposed to moving back and forth. I'm doing this because it allows me to focus my aim directly on the other player's head and with a pistol you should always go for a headshot as it is the fastest and easiest way to kill someone. I'm not really moving towards or away from the other player, instead I'm keeping my distance which allows me to focus on the headshot as well as strafing away from their aim. Now it is important to remember that other players are also going to be aiming right back at you, so strafing away is always key. A lot of people tend to primarily focus on the aim which means that their movement when strafing away is really limited. Rolling does work as a way of strafing away, but do bear in mind that a lot of people, when they see you roll, they're just going to roll afterwards, meaning that what you've tried to do to them to get a headshot more easily is just going to be reversed on you, making a headshot against you more likely. Now let's take a look at left trigger aiming. When playing with claw, you are able to tap A, which makes your character move faster when aiming in LT. In LT, I find that people will play more aggressively and the reason for this is because the aim is a lot more focused and centered in meaning that making a headshot lineup can be somewhat more difficult if trying to play the same way as in RT. Now that's just my view on it and you know a few people might find that playing LT defensively is easier and obviously you can mix around these playing styles until it works right for you. But in both scenarios you can see that on this particular map it is quite easy for me to kill the opponent on this map. But to be fair they are random players and are unaware of what I'm doing to them. This demonstrates that against normal players they aren't quite able to catch on to what you're doing in terms of aim and as you can see this guy doing on screen here will try to escape once they know your aim is on point. Now when you're actually playing with a pistol you can be aggressive or defensive. Defensive players will tend to stay back and focus on the headshot, as you saw me doing in RT, meaning they might shoot slightly less but be more accurate when they do shoot. Alternatively, aggressive players will more get up in your face and try to attack you from multiple angles, usually when they'll run for a few seconds, then keep on shooting, run for a few seconds, as I've done in a few 1v1s myself. That's a really intelligent alternative when playing against defensive people because they aren't quite easy to get their aim centred on point again and they have to scramble what they've just been doing to aim against you and then refocus it. I like to see what other people do before I choose how I'm going to play in that match which is why during many of my 1v1s I've managed to be successful and I consider myself to be an evolving player because I adapt to how the other player plays. Um, another side pointer is when you're using pistols make sure that the other person doesn't wear a helmet because many people are already aware about helmets absorbing bullets but not all so I'll just reiterate for you. When you wear a full head helmet such as the one I'm wearing right now in game these will absorb bullets meaning that a headshot kill requires more than one bullet which isn't really fair if you only take one headshot but the other player takes two. However, a common misconception is that masks do not absorb bullets. Now, masks don't, but I've heard from a few people that they do, and this is entirely false. I don't know where they've got this from, but hats nor masks sponge bullets, so you can wear them, it's fine. Um, I'm going to round up the tutorial here, and I'll have another one going up soon. 
If you found this slightly helpful, remember to like the video and to let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what I should cover next, or what you think you might need more help with. That is all for now guys, thanks for watching and have a nice day.